the definition of first order linear differential equation. A first order linear differential equation of the form a1x divide dx plus a sub 0x y equals to gx. a1x and a sub 0x are functions in x and it is called a first order linear differential equation in variable y. The free variable is x. You need to write this in standard form. Assuming a1x is not zero, we divide everything by a1x and you get dy dx plus a sub zero x over a1x, which is now represented by px times y equals to gx divided by a1x, which is represented by f of x. Now that you have your standard form, you can find the integrating factor, which is basically this exponential function e to integral px dx. After finding the integrating factor, you're going to multiply everything by integrating factor and create d dx integrating factor y, which is coming from the product rule using calculus. And on the right hand side, you have the integrating factor times f of x. Then you're going to integrate both sides and then simplify as much as you can and try your best to isolate y on one side. Well, sometimes you'll end up with this form of a differential equation, y prime plus pxy equals to f of x times y to power n. This is called Bernoulli's equation. You can use substitution u equals to y to power one minus n or w or any other variable. The name of the variable is not important y to power one minus n. And this reduces the differential equation into linear equation that you know how to solve. For example, find the general solution of this differential equation. You have t squared dy dt plus y, y to the second power equals to ty. First, write it in standard form. We're going to divide everything by t squared, assuming t is not zero. So t squared dy divided by t squared dt you can get rid of t squared and t squared plus y squared divided by t squared equals to ty over t squared. Now I'm going to rewrite this y prime minus, if I simplify this ty over t squared, it becomes y over t. If I bring it to the other side, it becomes negative one over t times y. On the right hand side, you end up with negative y squared divided by t squared. Why I did that? Because I want to have the exact form of the Bernoulli's differential equation so I can make some adjustments. So as you can see, n is equal to two. The power or exponent of y is two. So you can use a substitution. The substitution can be written as w equals to y to power one minus n. So one minus two becomes negative one. Please note that w is equal to one over y. So if you take the differential dw dt or the differential of w with respect to t, it is equal to negative one over y squared dy dt. Now you're going to just use this information and simplify your differential equation. For simplicity, divide everything by negative y squared. It becomes negative one over y squared dy dt plus one over ty. And on the right-hand side, you end up with one over t squared. Why we did that? Because we already know that negative one over y squared dy dt is dw dt. Plus, you have one over t, one over y is just w, and on the right-hand side, you have one over t squared. So what is this? This is a differential equation in linear form. You can solve the first order linear differential equation. You just need to find the integrating. So for our first order linear differential equation, the integrating factor is e to integral one over t dt. Remember that the coefficient of w is the integrand. So you just substitute this guy here and you start taking the integral. 
So remember from calculus, the integral of one over t dt is ln of absolute value of t. So it becomes e to ln of absolute value of t. E and ln function, they are opposite of each other. They are inverse of each other. Correct terminology, it becomes absolute value of t. So we can conclude that the integrating factor is t, assuming that t is positive. So for simplicity, you can assume that t is positive and the absolute value disappears. Now, multiply everything by t and simplify as much as you can. Here, we get differential of w with respect to t times t plus t times 1 over t, w, so t and t, disappears, equals to t times 1 over t squared. Now, on the left-hand side, you end up with d dt t w, why is that? Because here you have the differential of W with respect to T times D plus W, which is basically when you're taking the derivative of the product, it is D dt of T times W plus T times D W dt, which is basically the everything on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, you have one over T because these two simplify. Now take the integral of both sides. You have the integral of d dt tw, which is equal to the integral of 1 over t. But remember that the integral and the differential are opposite operation, so it cancel out. So you're left with tw equals to ln of t plus constant of integration. What is the next step? We need to get rid of our w. So since tw is equal to ln of t plus c, and we know that w is 1 over y, just substitute that here. You get t times 1 over y. On the right-hand side, you have ln of t plus c. Basically, you have t over y equals to ln of t plus c doing algebra. So y becomes t divided by ln of t plus c. Well, we can visualize this as well. We can plug in some values for C and visualize the behavior of the solutions. These are the functions that satisfy the differential equation that we introduced at the beginning of this example. We can continue plugging different C values and see the behavior of the general solutions for this differential equation. But again, you are able to Isolate y on one side, and on the right-hand side, you have t divided by ln of t plus c.